there are always going to be cash flow positive properties around. Sometimes it's dictated by the location and where they are. It's typically, there could be just high rentals there, for instance, maybe in mining towns. But sometimes even in the inner city locations, which are more capital growth areas, you can still get positive cash flow. So if you've got a property and there's maybe two or three streams of income, so maybe there's one property and it's split into a couple of units, then quite often that gives you exceptional rent returns. Typically the blue chip suburbs are those that are generally in the inner city locations. So quite often investors avoid the CBDs because within the CBD there's no limit of supply. You get these massive towers that have got a thousand units in them and effectively they can knock down a few small buildings and keep building more and more of those things. So quite often we are really trying to get maybe two to five k's just outside the city out to about 15 k's because that's where the majority of people really want to work. That's where they get all the leisure facilities. So say, certainly in Sydney, then you've got the, the beach or the harbour. And you've got all the cafes, the lifestyles, the parks for all the kids. But you're still within maybe 10 or 20 minutes of the city. So a lot of investors always go for that 5 to 15 k's. Whether you're in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane or Perth, then they're quite, quite often the suburbs that decade after decade will consistently grow. If you're buying around the median price, then often those properties don't really go down in value, even in the GFC because there's just so much demand, there's 80% of the population can afford to buy them or rent them, that creates the stability and in the good times that creates the capital growth as well.